Steve Aston here. Today it is middle of January and you might be wondering why the heck is Mike wearing an ugly sweater? Really I have no great reason. It's just cold in my basement and this thing is really really comfortable. That's right, rocking the ginormous, ginormous elf Christmas sweater. Is it really ugly? I don't know. Today we're here to do something that I think is pretty cool and something that you guys should check out. And that is, we are going to be doing the unboxing of the January Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Now if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, Mystery Tackle Box is a subscription-based monthly mailing of fishing lures. And you can choose a box that fits your style of fishing. So I'm a bass fisherman, so I choose the bass style box. You can choose a basic level for approximately $15 a month. And you can also choose a pro box for $25 a month. I started off with the $15 box and when they came out with the pro box, I immediately wanted to upgrade because I sensed the value already. So the reason that I am a member of Mystery Tackle Box is because I want to expand my abilities as fishermen and being forced to use whatever they send us is a way for me to learn new techniques and try out new lures. And they provide you with what I think is a great value in terms of baits. So usually for my $25 box, I get between $40 and $50 worth of baits. That's a pretty good deal. I can't wait for right around the 10th of the month for that, that box to be mailed out to me. And here it is. So let's give it a look. All right. Ta-da! All right. So the first thing I look for is this card. So it's a profile card. And basically, it just goes over what baits are in this box. And I can see we've got six different types of baits. First one it stands out like a sore thumb. And I've been wanting to buy one of these, and I haven't yet. And I'm glad I didn't, because here is the double plopper. And a good color too. So this is the River to Sea Double Plopper. This normally retails for $17.84. That's about right. I usually see it from anywhere from I think $17.99 to $20 at local Dick's or Bass Pro, something like that. I've heard mixed reviews on this thing. So, um, but one of my goals for 2017 is to get back into topwater fishing. So this is going to be the perfect bait to do so. I used to fish buzz baits a lot when I was younger, and I kind of got away from it. And they're such a such a fun bait to throw. And I use the Whopper Plopper, although I have not caught a fish on it. I lost lost the only fish I had on earlier this year. And otherwise, I'm throwing a frog most of the time. So we're going to change that in 2017. You're going to see some more topwater action for sure. And this bait is going to be a part of that. So let's see. This, this color is called Delta Craw. And uh, for those of you who don't know how this works, basically, it's just like a normal buzz bait. You got the body here, and then you've got instead of one propeller or a double buzz bait with two two big propellers, this has two mini whopper ploppers basically attached to it. So it's really kind of cool. Um, I hope it works works well. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. See there. So very cool. I mean, for twenty five dollars. Remember, I spent twenty five dollars on this box. This is a eighteen dollar lure in one bait. It's a great value. And no, I'm not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box, reach out, okay? Let's do this. There you go. All right, bait number two, an Excite Baits XB1. Oh, okay, square bill. Retails for $7.99. This, nice, this is a nice square bill. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. It's kind of like a bluegill color. In fact, yeah, the actual color is named bluegill. And uh, let's see, dives two to five feet. So perfect, perfect around here for shallow ponds. Bluegill is the number one um, kind of forage for these bass around here. So 2017, I'm actually buying a lot of bluegill style baits because I really want to, especially in the spawn, I want to throw bluegill style baits and just piss off those bass. So this is gonna be great. Two to five feet, I'm gonna be throwing this, uh, throwing this up shallow against some rocks, maybe some branches, bump, bumping it off of them. Why are you not focusing? Thank you. 
Nice bait. Eight eight dollars. These two baits right here. That is twenty-five dollars and eighty-three cents worth of baits. I just did that math in my head. Good job, math teachers. All right, bait number three. A jigging spoon. All right, Nichols jigging spoon. This is something I really have almost zero, zero knowledge about, except through the ice. Throwing a little spoon on that. I have never fished a spoon. So here is, here's that spoon. Just looks like a, a normal silver spoon. Um, half ounce silver chrome. Really, I don't know too much about throwing spoons. So this is a, a type of bait maybe for braid wood. Something where if I can spot some fish deep, uh, throwing this out, jigging, vertical jigging, uh, that might be a style I can use. And a lake like Braidwood is a heavy shad lake, so this would imitate that with that chrome style. Again, this is why I, I try Mystery Tackle Box, is because it's going to throw baits at me that I'm not familiar with and not necessarily comfortable with, and this way I can test them out. So, very cool. That retails for $7. The fourth bait is the Ketchco Swimming Grub. So Ketchco recently has can kind of come together with Mystery Tackle Box. I, you saw my unboxing from a couple weeks ago. That was a bunch of Ketchco boxes and a Mystery Tackle Box unboxing for December. So now we've got the Ketchco brand little swimming grub. So basically, it's kind of like a mini, it's, it's a small swim bait. I don't know if you can see this. So it's got a swim bait body with kind of a, a half grub tail. So it's not a full circle. It's almost like a half moon. And I mean, I would fish this just like a normal swim bait. I could use this on a Texas rig if you want to. There's a, this is really versatile. Um, you could put this, if you're throwing an A rig, you can probably use this. It's gonna put off some nice action. The silver style is gonna look like a lot like a shad. So, very interesting bait. Looking forward to trying that out. Oh, and that, that retails for $2.99. The fourth bait. Okay, so this is a, a more premium brand here in terms of soft plastics, and that is the, uh, the Lunker Hunt brand. And this is the Lunker Bug. And a great color, too. So, let's see. Let's maybe pull one of these out. So, this is a black and blue four inch grub style, maybe structure structure style bait. Doesn't really have too much scent, which is good. This resells for $5.49 by the way. And there it is, so good jig trailer. You could probably fish this on a shaky head. Um, these come bound together, so you wanna break those apart. A lot of little appendages, gonna push a lot of water. This is ribbed, so I mean, and it's got a groove in here for, got a groove in there for recessing your hook. So, very nice little jig or shaky head, or you could you could probably use this Texas rig too. Um, but I like the idea of that sitting up off the bottom on the back of a black and blue jig. Money, very cool little bait. Again, that retails for $5.49. The last item inside this tackle box is some hooks. Some offset wide gap bleeding bait hooks. So, I've always said this Daiichi. I don't know, I could be wrong on that one. They are, they look like three at hooks. So it's an offset round bent hook. Um, very, very common style hook. This is in red. So they call it those bleeding bait hooks. They think that that red hook is gonna trigger more of a response. Three hooks in there. So, I mean, again, you can use those for a ton of things. Something like this on, on these swim baits. Boom, money. So let me do the math real quick on this one. I wish they would just add this up at the bottom. That would save me so much time. Okay, so I think I finally came up with this. I'm not gonna round to the penny. I'm not, I'm not going down to the penny because that's just crazy. But it's between 43 and 44 dollars. I think it's right around 43.50. So for 25 dollars, I just got 43 dollars worth of baits. Pretty sick. Let's see, what else do we get in this box? We got, I just saw this, so this is actually, I just saw this in Lake Fork Guys video. 
and it's pretty cool looking. It's uh, kind of like a robo swim bait, the swim bot. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I saw they got this on t-shirts too. I might have to pick one of those up because it's pretty cool looking. And just to give you a little hint of what may be coming in the future. That's right. Swim baits. I'm excited to kind of branch out into the swim bait world this year. Excited, nervous, and my wallet is quivering in fear. Same with that swim bot. I got a sticker. One of these Ketchco stickers. Pretty cool. And lastly, but not least, the Dibble Digest with the good old KVD. I encourage everyone to go out there and try Mystery Tackle Box. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of code you can use in the first one. I never remember what it is, so uh, go and find it online. Look at one of those other big YouTube guys who are uh, who you use Mystery Tackle Box, and they've got the codes for you. So otherwise, that's it. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to uh, get out in the spring and start fishing some of these baits because right now I'm kind of I I'm stuck. For those of you who are not in this area right now. The temps are in the 40s. We've had good ice, but it's just raining like crazy right now. The temps are going to jump up into the 50s this week. And so I have no ponds I can fish. I have no safe ice I can fish. I am stuck in this basement, pretty much organizing my bait. So you're going to see a bunch of videos coming out on my tackle. I've got a pretty good amount of tackle. Some, com some people commented that they saw my tackle behind me and they said, wow, you get a lot of stuff. And you know, I know I do, I do but uh, I feel like I can never have enough. Oh well. So we're going to do that. We're going to do a rod and reel arsenal. I've got some rods down here, but the problem with trying to film a rod and reel arsenal down here is I've got really short ceilings and I really don't want to like show a rod and all of a sudden break a tip on the ceiling. So I don't know where I'm going to do that. Let's see what else here. What else have we got going? So you guys have just seen my video that went up. If you haven't seen it already, caught a huge personal breast crappie recently through the ice at night while it was kind of sleeting. It was awesome. And so if you haven't checked that out, check it out in the link below. I'm going to drop that link below here. And last but not least, and I know I keep going on and on and on at the end here, but I really want to thank you all because this last month has just been crazy on my channel. Um, subscribers, view time everything, watch time, views, everything has been just skyrocketing suddenly and I really want to thank you guys. I am so much further than I ever would have thought at this point and uh, I really have it all, uh, owe it all to you guys. It's really awesome. I started this channel really just wanting to document my fishing trips in a way better than pictures and now I'm changing that a little bit as I want to document my fishing trips for sure but I also want to provide any help, tips, techniques, entertain if I can. I'm really not that entertaining, but if you find me entertaining, that's that's great. So, thank you again for all you do for me because I'm gonna keep putting out videos for you guys and for myself in the future. I find this entertaining. I think in 30 years, I'm gonna look back and go, man, what a what a weirdo I was. Why, why were you doing that? But until next time, this is Windy City Bassin signing. <laughs>